gonna blow. Goodbye, Royal Woods. Of course I regret using expired gas, Nacho. How could you ask me that? Wait, everyone! I have a new idea that might save our town. Where's Todd? I believe in you, Lincoln. Lincoln, Lincoln. Oh, we're not doing that. Undersecretary Crandall said Royal Woods is history. <laughs> Why would you remind us of that? What if Royal Woods did have some kind of important history? Then she couldn't flood us. Ahem. Elder brother, might I remind you that Royal Woods has no interesting history. We were named after an oak tree. That one. I know, but Undersecretary Crandall doesn't. Royal Woods has the word royal in it. Maybe there's something there. I know we'd be making up a big lie, but it's the only way to save our town. Let's save Hazel Tucky! <laughs> huh? A good morrow upon you, Lady Undersecretary Crandall. Move this horse, kid. You're supposed to be packing. We never got the chance to tell you about Royal Wood's famous history. Come on. Fine. As long as you stop talking like that. No problem. It all started with a royal visit from King George III back in the 1700s. He loved our town so much, he named it Royal Woods. This is Royal Woods, a joyful neighborhood rich with history. To help write the future, you must learn about the past. Royal Woods, the loyal hood, a history that show will last. It's residential, yet yeah, essential, and it's pretty presidential. And the potential is immense once you learn all its credentials. King George was hungry, and his horse was acting up. So uncontrollably, he galloped to ye old bison hut. They packed his pork a la Normand and some barley gruel. They threw him back into go sack, inventing the first draft through. Yo, yo, yo! He really felt like creeping. His belly done creeping. He traded his crown just to lie down and finally got some bees in the first hotel. Motel 18th century in. We're well versed, second to none, and first is how we've always been. No one could do without so many a victories. place to really slide down. My duty calls just it can't forget about us now. You might want to keep us around. Around, around, keep us around. Around, around, keep us around. Around, around, keep us around. This is King Ew. George's crown. Looks like I can't flood your town after all. Yes. Huh? What's this? No, actually, we need that back. It's on loan from the uh, Royal Woods Museum. Not so fast, kid. <laughs> Lola Loud, Little Miss Croning Achievement. <laughs> I'll take that. Ugh. Bring that wrecking ball. We've got a sixth great like to make. I guess it's time to say goodbye to Royal Woods. Undersecretary Crandall, you can't flood Royal Woods. Ooh, the white-haired kid's not giving up. Get this on camera! To us, our history is remarkable. And it's the people and friendships and memories that make Royal Woods worth saving. Like a forest that's born from one tree, Royal Woods is much more than you see. Though it's averagely marginal, we think it's remarkable, filled with our own history. Every moment, every memory. That tree ahead where I first read a savvy comics in my underwear. And I first spent a hundred pounds when I was two. And these handprints here remind me of the years we stuck our kids and pets in wet cement. And here's a window you broke in the baseball that you threw. We had so much fun at our mortician's club. It's home to Mr. Coconuts and Mrs. Apple Blossom. And, and we'll, we'll never forget, forget the crosswalk where we met. The bowling alley where Sam and I had off a skid. Auntie Pam's parlor for banana splits. And did you know Royal Woods is also abundantly rich in copper, nickel, iron, platinum? Not to mention it's sitting on a very large oil deposit. That earlier. Cause we're right, we're right, we're right where we belong. We're right where we belong. That was a beautiful song. But I'm still going to bust this dam and flood you. Might not be the best 
look to flood a precious small town on live television. This is Catherine Mulligan covering the destruction of my town in HD. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Happy birthday. Call for you. Joyce, this is the over-secretary. I saw everything. Bulldozing a perfectly good town on live TV. You're fired. <gasps> ah! There, there. Yes! 